signification is making gestures in the meantime precise and rough, and thereby human beings. They drive all hesitation out of gestures, all consideration, all requirements of things. Thus one no longer learns to close a door softly, discreetly, and yet firmly. Those of autos and frigideers have to be slammed. Others have the tendency to snap back by themselves, and thus imposing on those who enter the incivility of not looking behind them, of not protecting the interior of the house which receives them. One cannot account for the newest human types without an understanding of the things in the environs which they continually encounter, all the way into their most secret innervations. What does it mean for the subject that there are no window shutters anymore, which can be opened, but only frames to be brusquely shoved, no gentle latches, but only handles to be turned, no front lawn, no barrier against the street, no wall around the garden? And which auto driver has not felt the temptation, in the power of the motor, to run over the vermin of the street, passerby, children, bicyclists? In the movements which machines demand from their operators lies already that which is violent, crashing, propulsively unceasing, and fascist mistreatment. Not the least fault for the dying out of experience is due to the fact that things assume a form under the law of their purposiveness which restricts their interaction to mere application, without the surplus, where it that of freedom of behavior, where it that of autonomy of the thing, which might survive as the kernel of experience because it is not consumed by the moment of action.